Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, let us drink and eat in honor of his return. And now, I will delight you with the poet I can. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Fulke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Ranvi. Have you spoken with Sigurd yet? Not yet. Soon. Sigurd gone. Show me. Wolfgar, so glad to see you. Dark. 
There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. <laughs> 